can for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! minutes after 9 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Monday morning. If we ever had the Oscars in Ocala, Bern Paraiso will walk the red carpet and everybody will say, who is she? She is a hot one. (laughs) Bern Paraiso is here to uh, educate us about the uh, different medical and health uh, services we have in in Marion County and in Ocala and uh, she is the president and CEO of GFA Inc., which stands for Good For All and Good Morning Burn. Paraiso, how are you, Burn? Good morning. I'm doing very well, thank you. Did you have a good weekend? Very good weekend. You're so lovely. Look at you. I mean, do you know how lovely that you are? Oh, she is beautiful. She's looking down to see. You know, when you are You just do it. You just do it. You do it. Whatever you do, you do it right. Come on. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. I like the come on. Yeah. Come on. No, thank you. No, I just want the community to know that you should, I mean, if you have if you have not, you know, met Larry and Robin, you got to meet them. Oh, throwing it back at me. Robin does the same thing. I give Robin a compliment. <laughs> she throw it right back at me. I should know better. But anyway, good morning. Good morning, and um, good morning to all our doctors. Um, and and um, Dr. Asad Kamar, um, he is actually a Black Diamond sponsor for the Ocala Royal Dames. Uh-huh. And thank you so much for your contribution. Good morning to Seven Hill Gastroenterology, Dr. Vishnu Reddy, and the Central Florida Endoscopy Center. There you go. It's good to be here. And... Um, I have a very uh, interesting report to share with you this right. morning. And this is about a 60-year-old male. A procedure... That used to sound old. Yeah. Oh, that that doesn't sound old now. <laughs> 60. The this older is actually I, a 60-year-old. The older I get, the less that sounds old. No, you know, I'm almost there. And I'm, like, holding and trying to do everything that I can. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, you know, it's... It's just a number. That's how I look at it. So we shouldn't it's work. always been a number. <laughs> <laughs> so let me share with you about uh, a report from um, Central Florida Endoscopy Center. And there was a lot of colon screenings, follow-up from patients that had polyps um, maybe three years ago, five mm-hmm. years ago. That really depends on the uh, gastroenterologist. But there was a case that was a little unusual, and we hardly, hardly have this. Uh, really? Maybe once a year. And it is called esophageal cancer from the word oh, esophagus. Just the word cancer. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh. Exactly. So somebody that when they got the test was was diagnosed right. with that? Oh, exactly. boy. Exactly. So anyway, what happened is, um, let me tell you about what is this cancer all about. And again, it's from the word esophagus. Okay. It is a dis- disease characterized by the abnormal growth of cells in the esophagus. The muscular tube connecting the oral cavity with the stomach. Well, this is the the muscular tube connecting the oral cavity with the stomach. And again, EGD is the procedure. That's the instrument that's inserted in the mouth, and it goes through all the way to the lower small intestine. And the symptoms is difficulty or pain in swallowing, weight loss, pain in the chest, behind the breastbone, coughing, hoarseness, and indigestion uh, and heartburn. So I would, uh, you know, I would uh, encourage our community to please, if you have these symptoms, although it says that early esophageal cancer typically causes no signs or symptoms. That's not good. It is not good, and here's another fact. Worldwide, men are more than twice as likely to develop is it a esophageal s- cancer. Is it a smoking thing? Is that what causes it? Or It is, and yeah. here's additional uh, information on that. A malignant tumor of the esophagus. The risk of cancer of the esophagus is increased by long-term irritation of the esophagus, such as from smoking, heavy alcohol intake, 
I guess those are the two that are mentioned uh-huh, here. Uh-huh. But anyway, so the yeah. two things that happen a lot in bars. <laughs> people smoke and people drink. Yeah, right? uh-huh. very good stuff, right? Do you know, I didn't, I didn't drink or or smoke. I did smoke later on in my life, but when I was a younger guy, I used to be in bars because I was a musician. Oh, and you're always That's breathing cool. in that smoke. Yeah, secondhand you know? smoke. Yeah, secondhand. Especially now, right. people I, smoke and secondhand I, smoke. Yeah, I have, I've never, you know, mm-hmm. touched or even tried. Yeah, That's why you're so lovely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. But again, you know, the uh, the smoking and the heavy alcohol intake. So if if you are suspecting that you have these symptoms, uh, go to, to your primary care uh, doctor and discuss about, you know, well, I mean, I'm sure so you would know tightening of the, you know, the, uh, the throat, the, the throat. hoarseness, coughing, pain in the chest, behind the breastbone difficulty or pain in swallowing so even liquid you know food right right i have a little question about that mm-hmm. though it sounds like you said that you get once a year you get this so it's a rare one it must be pretty rare right um it's as early um the last patient was probably a year ago so did they discover it when the patient had no symptoms um, like did they discover it with that scope thing it was the throat that was painful oh, so yes and the EGD okay. prove it so we are still waiting for the um, uh, the final result mm-hmm. right it takes about maybe two or three days to get that from the um, um, you know, for the biopsy, my 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 mind went bl- blank right now. <laughs> right, right, it's right, But right. anyway, um, that happens again, to me a lot. <laughs> esophageal cancer. Okay, and I have a few minutes. I probably uh, would tell you more about it next Monday. Again, if you have symptoms of pain in your throat and not able to eat. Especially if it's you know if it's already liquid diet if it's does it feel like a, like a normal sore throat when you say sore throat? Um, it says that uh, let me see it's hoarseness hoarseness in your voice and pain in swallowing swallowing okay. or difficulty right. Right, in right, eating right. and you know how much you know how it is sometimes that you cannot eat right when you eat you know especially solid food. So if you have a sore throat, it's, it feels like a sore throat. Exactly. Oh, wow. But do not ignore. See your doctor and, um, you know, uh, share that information. The sooner the better, yeah, yeah. you know, then y- you can get better treatment. And Seven Hill Gastroenterology uh, is uh, the sponsor of my uh, program, Vishnu Ready MD. Telephone number 401-1919. Uh, location is 3256 South Pine Avenue, and that's one mile south of um, Monroe Regional Hospital in Ocala Regional Hospital. So thank you again, everyone. Um, two more minutes. I will. Uh, I would like to thank all my Tierra Ball volunteers. Tierra Ball. Well, that's coming person. up, isn't it? This is the last week. Oh, wow. Everyone okay. is busy, and my committee uh, chairs and volunteers, thank you for your hard work and dedication. And I would like to thank all our VIP sponsor, Dr. Asad Kamar. That's ICE. And we also have our in kind uh, Black Diamond sponsor, and that's Lemieux Diamond Company. Nancy Sue Curtis, uh, she's a grand dame, and she has been very supportive, you know, with this cause. Blanchard Miriam, Adele Kirkland, that's Doc Blanchard. We also have UF Health, University of Florida in Gainesville, Fast Track, Health South, Ford Lincoln of Ocala, Dr. Chris and Rosemary Oredu, Linda Siemens Realty, Fred and Donna Sayofi, Signature Brands, Florida Cancer Specialists, Seven Hill Gastroenterology, and that's Dr. Vishnu already. And the last one is uh, DeLuca Toyota from right. DeLuca. Thank you so much, everyone. And this is all for today um, here at WOCA 96.3. <laughs> 
or 13:70 a.m. There you go. There you go. Burn Parizo. Burn, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, how do we get a hold of you? You want to give your email? Oh yes, please. Email me at burn b e r n at g f a three letters good for all medicalmarketing.com or you can call me at my cell three five two two one six five four nine three. Thank you again. Thank you, Brian. folks. Thank you so I much. I appreciate it very much. And so do we. All right, we we'll take a little break and we'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by myfwc.com. Safe boating is no accident. Clouds giving way to some sun today. Highs between 80 and 